I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black men, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. In this world, there is room for everyone, and a good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful. But we have lost the way. We vacate the world with hate. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. The machinery that gives us abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The airplane and the radio has brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out at the goodness in man, cries out for the unity of us all, for the goodness of the soul of man. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women and poor children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes, men who despise you and enslave you, who regiment your lives, telling you what to do, what to think or what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men, with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines, you are not cattles, you are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Lucas' description, the kingdom of God is within men. Not one man, nor a group of them, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful. The power to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world, that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason. A world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite!